Hey, welcome to Oak Street Off-Road. I'm your pal Mitch and today we're down at Redbird State Recreational Area in beautiful Linton, Indiana. It's about 82, 83 degrees out here. I don't think it's going to start raining until sometime this afternoon. And we're going to go back here and hit some of these trails and show you what my new JLU is capable of. Some things that uh, she can do, she can't do. And we're going to go out here and have some fun. So. Let's go for a ride. Out of winch. Okay, so here we are at the Blue Jay Station out in the middle of Redbird. We've done two trails so far today, three and three X. We've got two more badge trails in there to get. And so far, with this being the first time I've off-roaded this Jeep, I absolutely love the performance of it. It's very capable. The horsepower and torque are right there where you need it. And it just runs like a champ. It rides a lot better than my two-door did. And so far, absolutely love it. Now there is something to be said for the front end camera, which I do not have, because there were some areas where that would have been super helpful, but uh, went cheap on that one. So that's probably an upgrade that I'll be doing here in the future. So for right now, we've taken our break, uh, 
done all that stuff we're gonna head back in there hit a couple more trails and have some more fun So we're down here at the power line, what they call the power line, it's basically in the middle of Redbird. And you can see that it's nice and dry out here now, but I'll bet a week or two ago, this was just a muddy mess back here. We've met some nice people along the way and we've uh, had some fun, made some friends, talked to some people, you know, and that's what this lifestyle is about. Oh, we got some buggies coming along here. So let's skeeter on up this hill here. And uh, we're gonna make our way out over to by like the Bluebird Shelter that we were at just a little while ago. Um, maybe air up over there, maybe not. Because we still have to go off-roading even to get out of here. We have to go through another part of the park which is pretty nice um we've had some pretty technical trails there's a lot of deep ruts in this place so always check your weather forecast before you go off-roading and off-road within your limits know what you're doing that's why we're just doing it kind of mild today because i don't have a winch on this i don't have uh, a lift um, and we're basically out here on our own, so we don't want to go crazy with it and do anything that could potentially, that somebody could get hurt or killed or destroy the Jeep or whatever. So drive within your limits. Uh, preferably you should uh, wheel with at least one other Jeep. That's ideally what you really want to do. So we were just out here having some fun today, spending some time with my daughter, which is fantastic. Haven't seen her for a while and just having some fun. And I could see where this place would be really bad if it was raining. Let these quads know that there's just one of us so that they, they can get on down the trail and get doing what they're doing. And usually everybody does that. Just if you got three people, you know, put three fingers up or whatever, just to let whoever's coming in the opposite direction know how many vehicles to look for. It's just common courtesy. And if you go back and rewatch uh, my video on hand signals, it'll help out quite a bit uh, for what you're supposed to do out here with trail etiquette and the hand signals that's gonna go a long way. So we just got a little section to go through here and then we're gonna be back basically on the pavement and then we're gonna head out to the front of the park and we'll air up and use the facilities and then probably start heading back home. It's been a great day out here. We've had some fun. The Jeep's fantastic. And I really do like this four-door a lot better than the two-door. Two-door, real Jeeps only have two doors. I know that. But this is just a lot more comfortable ride. And it's a lot more forgiving. And it's a great time.